Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on Litecoin. We will take a look at the four-hour time frame. Before I get started, I do want to note that from a disclosure perspective, I am long Litecoin, so just keep that in mind as I go through the presentation and analysis. Real quick, what do I mean by four-hour in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here, as they're called, representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents four hours of time. So while this here may look like several weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past several days broken down into four hour time slices. I like to do this time frame thing. That's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this yesterday as uh, you know, as I talked about in that video, you know, a breakout had started, things were looking good. However, after another, you know, 24 hours, remember the crypto markets are open 24 seven. Uh, yeah, this breakout that happened right here, that was just totally a fake move. There was no true power behind it. What gives me the right to say that? Well, if there was true power behind it, you know, I'm not saying this thing would be up at 300, but the price has literally not only gone back to where it broke out, which is that green line here, but just continued on down. And not only has it continued on down, it is now actually below that purple line there, which is a very poor, important technical level. And for those of you that have watched my past videos, I'm, I've probably annoyed you by talking about it so much, but that's that 50 period simple moving average. And as I've said in past videos, you know, from a bigger picture perspective, as long as the price stays above that purple line, then the bulls are in full control. So not only, like I said, did the price go back to where it broke out, but now it's down below this area where you, yeah, things, I'm not gonna say the chart is ruined because it's not, but to sit here and say that the bulls are in full control, you can't quite say that anymore too. So I would say the chart has definitely lost some attractiveness, but remember there's a big difference between being totally ruined and losing some attractiveness. So by no means is the chart ruined, uh, but you just, like I said, for the reason of the price now being below that purple line, you just simply can't say that the bulls are in full control. So as far as updates are concerned, first update comes about just from a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So right up there at 235, that has now gone back to being considered an area of resistance. And then also right here, uh, that purple line would be considered an area of resistance. In fact, right there, you can see the price try to get back up above it, but that is directly where it was rejected from there. So that'll also be that short term area of resistance. So before you even talk about doing battle with 235, the bulls first have to get themselves back up above that purple line there. What about areas of support? So if this pullback move continues some more, where are some other areas at? Well, as it stands right now, it's looking like the price is currently hovering right around this area of support that you would wanna see it hold. Yeah, right here at about 207 mark. So that'll be the current level, but in the event over the next 24 hours or so, the price continues to pull back. Next level of support right there around 190. So we'll see what happens with it. But yeah, as someone in my position that, that is long, not the greatest, not the best feeling to see that was a total fake breakout, but uh, you know, we'll see what happens with it. But definitely don't wanna see the price separate too far to the downside of that purple line. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.